Can't believe I'm finally gonna drink this beer. Let's do it. So here it is, Ballast Point, the peanut butter, Victory SC, Imperial Porter, 10% ABV. Got the real peanut butter on there. I've actually had this one here for a while. Um, I forgot how long this has actually been in the cellar, but I've been wanting to drink this and just hadn't gotten around to it. Finally, it is its turn to be drank or drunk, drank or drunk. Anyway, I'm gonna definitely sit back and enjoy this one. Smooth peanut butter meets dark coffee in this roasty porter. Let's go ahead and get this baby into a glass. Before I do, you can see a little bit of the writing there on the side in case you wanted to pause and read that information. And then here's the other side with the ABV information also listed on there. Uh, excited to finally drink this baby. So as you can see, it is a big bottle, 22 ounce bottle here. Um, go big or go home, right? 10% ABV, good amount of smoke really. Nice dark porter. Oh, I can already smell that sweetness hitting the glass. Let me sit that there, check that out. Nice pour, always get that head on there is what I try to do. As you can see, that's how I do, y'all. Nice two finger head, nice dark beer. A little bit of a sign of a little bit of a tint down the bottom. Not fully all the way jet black, but just about there. Oh, that smells so good. Nice peanut butter coming out on the aroma. I mean, it just comes out so easily. Nice aromatic. Oh my goodness. This is going to be very interesting. Um, I've done the other Victory SC. Well, some of them. I still have a few different ones um, that are seller that I'll be uh, trying here at some point. But uh, the ones I've had, I've had the base and I've had a, I think I had a peppermint one maybe or something. But anyway. I've been very pleased with the stuff from Ballast Point on this one. This is probably the best beer series I've enjoyed from them over the time. So, enough uh, yapping, get to drinking. For a 10% ABV beer, it is smooth. You feel a little bit going down the back end on the throat, but it does go down rather easily. I am picking up some of the booziness in the beer. Wow. I was hit with that peanut butter up front some, but then like on the back, I just got hit with like a wave of like the chocolate and the uh, coffee from the beer here. Nice amount of it comes through, almost has like a cocoa type feel to it. And wow, on the back end, that's really leaving a good part of the duration. The peanut butter subsided a little bit, but I am really left with a good amount of that chocolate, that baker's type chocolate. I mean, it's not just in the mouth, it's in the throat. It's just it's ever so present that you just pick that up very nicely. It was almost like a delayed response on how the chocolate actually hit. You've got almost a semi velvety type feel of the texture on the tongue. I would say with the peanut butter, I do feel a little bit of what I would consider maybe like an artificial type feel, but it's still pretty good, still pretty decent. Nice sweetness there from the malts. This one is definitely, even though I'm going down this glass rather easily, definitely a fuller body type beer, of course. You're gonna to wanna to take your time with this one, especially if you got a 22 ounce here. Actually having this one a little bit later in the evening to kick back and relax with before I start gaming a little bit on my gaming channel. But the big thing is really that duration that's being left behind. As I'm sitting here talking, it just kind of builds even more in the mouth where I'm really having those nice flavors in the, in, like I said, in the throat, in the cheeks, in the mouth itself. I mean, it's just everywhere is picking up that nice chocolate feel of this beer here. A little bit of like a stickiness in there, a little bit of a caramel type of peel in the texture, but another good beer from Ballast Point. Now this one I've actually had cellared, uh, I'm gonna say probably about a year or so, um, but you do get everything still coming through nicely here. A nice darkness, you get a, you get a bitterness with it, but you're getting kind of like that coffee type bitterness in play. 
but a nice full beer to definitely check out if you are a peanut butter and coffee type fan because those are going to be two dominant flavors and of course chocolate's in there as well but i would say that peanut butter and coffee does hit you nicely and that is the uh, ballast point peanut butter victory sc they do have a peanut butter cup one as well which i need to also pick up at some point if i could find that one i heard that is slightly different than what this one is is but very pleasurable if you've had this beer let me know what you think put some comments in the comment section let me know what you thought about it but i definitely say it's a it's a go for me thanks for watching checking out another video i look forward to catching you guys next time if you like what you saw make sure you hit that like button and of course if you haven't subscribed yet and it's your first time here make sure you subscribe so you're up to speed on the upcoming videos and if you hit that little bell down there at the bottom you also get the notifications when i release the new videos which i'm trying to keep up and get them out to you daily at about nine o'clock eastern that all being said keep drinking those good crap beers